Hi, today I want to talk about a Indiegogo campaign and it's the Overlord Pro Plus from DreamMaker 3D from Shanghai, China. And today I get my package from Shanghai and I'm glad because I'm one of the super early bird packers for the perk estimated on June 2017, but it arrives today, September 2017. So it's three months late, but for an Indiegogo campaign, so I'm very glad the big package was delivered today and I can unbox it now. So this is the big box as it was delivered. There's no wrapping around. This is just what handed over by the post office. So I take my cutter and cut off the tape and open the box and as you see there's some kind of foam on the top for the 3D printer. And here we see the top of the Delta 3D printer. So let's try to get it out of the box and I can show you what's inside the box. So let's unwrap the DreamMaker Overlord Pro Plus and have a closer look to the device. So on one of the three sides and we can turn it round so that we can have a look on the one side. There's a marking Overlord Pro Plus if we get rid of the protection film. So now we can see all the markings on the device. Also we get a heat bed sticker, the manual one side in Chinese and one side in English. Allen key, USB cable, spatula and also spare parts. And you get a very big power supply with 24 volts, 9 amps. And I get a European plug, but I think you get the plug that you need for your country. And you get also a spool of PLA filament with stamped from DreamMaker and also a small SD card that's already inside my Delta 3D printer. So let's turn it on and sorry for the pictures, but my camera is totally swamped out by the display. So maybe it's a little bit blurry. So first we have a look at the menu and in the menu I show you the firmware version I've get. And the version is 2.3.5 from December 2016. And now we can do an auto bad leveling procedure. So we go to the menu calibrate and start the auto leveling. And here we see the auto leveling procedure and sorry for the heat bed. I have already done a test print and there's a small residue of the glue stick. So now let's start a 3D print and I do the already shipped example a small ways and I using green translucent PLA filament. So now the printer is ready and I can take the spatula and try to remove it from the heat bed and after a while we get it off and now I can show you the result. 
So I turn it round so you can see it from all the sides. And I already printed in second ways with the chipped PLA, the white PLA. And we can compare the two ways. And I can take my keyring torch and show you the translucent effect of the second PLA. And as you see, the white one is not so translucent. And it looks, I think, very nice. And I'm impressed with the quality of the Delta 3D printer. But sure, I have to do some further research and do more precise printing and also compare the real sizing of the prints so I can do some technical printings for whatever I need, maybe a case for my ESP32 projects and so on. So that's it for today. I hope you find this interesting and useful and maybe learn something. I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.